Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, my name is Finn, or yet another gaming fail, and today we're here with another DCS mission editor video. Um, so, uh, well, you can see uh, the Falklands map is out. It's been out for actually quite a while. Uh, I'm pretty pretty late on this one. Um, yeah, what, what can I say? Uh, I did have a video that I had prepped, but I wasn't happy with it, so I cut it. Um, and I, you know, I, I do that quite a bit. Um, there's a lot of missions that I make that, like, maybe I'm not happy with the mission, but maybe I'm also not happy with the video. Um, and so I cut them. So, yeah, this is our introduction to East Falkland, or West Falkland, or both of them. Or Las Malvinas, depending on whether you're from, um, a certain South American nation. These lads. Um, so... What are we going to do? Well, I want to have, um, first of all, a kind of a uh, defend a beach landing mission, which is going to be uh, this week's mission. And then I want to do a uh, kind of destroy, um, you know, destroy aircraft that are parked kind of thing. So first things first, we're going to just start with the same thing that we always do. I'm just going to come in here, just going to save the mission first. Uh, don't mind that there. Uh, not the tutorial missions, let's go campaigns. And then uh, let's do Falklands mission one. Cool. Uh, and then we're just going to fly and we're just going to give it a test. So, um, so yeah, to kick it off with, obviously we're going to want to find a, uh, a location. Um, I think basically we're going to have like a just, we're going to do some ground pounding in this one um, and then just just kind of go f go from there you know um yeah the the next one that i'm looking forward to doing which is probably the one that i want to do more to be to be brutally honest is the uh, is basically attacking parked aircraft at um rio G Galag Gal galagos G galagos rio galagos in uh, argentina but we'll we'll get there so i think this is probably going to be a pretty good bit here uh i kind of want to build like a a thing to say that there's you know there's like a bunch of vehicles here um that like as part of a, a kind of a landing party and we're going to uh just get in there and and start start um start cutting them apart so yeah first things first uh let's just see if they're what kind of vehicles that we have on the argentina side uh let's just get a few of these lads in we're just going to call this uh amphibious landing like that and then uh we're just gonna come through here and we're just gonna start naming these vehicles so we're just gonna do uh amphibious landing unit one and then copy and then again just gonna work through through these lads two three uh four and five here like that so that's our first kind of set of lads and then we'll just kind of spread them out a little bit like this uh, get them kind of in here like that okay 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 cool all right then I think we want some some ships so let's just quickly come to our, our, our Argentina again here um, and so we've got a submarine here. We've got there's a few there's a few few things now, but uh, yeah, this is the first one to come, which is the Santa Fe. So this is their um, their submarine, which I think obviously we're not going to have yet because uh, I think that'll come in handy for a later mission. Um, and then basically we're we're limited to like you know these uh, civilian naval vessels that I've got as part of the civilian naval mod. Um, there's a harbor tug. Uh, I think what we'll do instead then, we'll we'll actually switch over to Combined Task Forces Red and then just quickly have a look through for anything, um, anything that might be kind of useful uh, as a, uh, as a kind of a ship that might be kind of I don't know, parked up per se. Okay. Well, you know, let's just let's just stick with that. We'll just have to pretend that there's no uh Ah. There you are. 
I mean that that is a I think that's an I think that's a, an Iranian flag. Uh, okay, most of these seem to be. Okay, that's okay. There are a few options here. Uh, let's just try and get something pretty wacky, something that's going to be a bit different. I mean, I guess if push comes to shove, I mean, you know what? Let's just use that, and no, no one, no one will know. No one will notice. It'll, it'll be fine. Uh, we're just going to have that lad parked just out here, um, just like this. Have him facing this way, and then he can be. Uh, naval landing ship like that. You can rename him there, and then uh, let's just add another one just in case there's anything else that we might want to grab. Uh, just quickly have a look through here. It's an attack submarine, amphibious transport dock. That's pretty cool. Um, Dad, these are the Chinese ones, I think, now, aren't they? Um, okay. So this is pretty cool. These are the British ships. So we've got the Achilles, Andromeda, and Ariadne, which is pretty sweet. So we'll be using those for sure in later uh, later missions. Um, let's see here. Castle class. It's another another interesting one yeah we can uh, we can see what we can do with these but for the moment we're just gonna leave it at that I think um, so let's just leave it as the naval landing ship there and he can be in the harbor like that uh, and then we'll want um, probably another another group of lads just down here like this and then uh, let's just quickly change this to be six here and just copy it we'll just shrink the the size down and then just uh, go with unarmed and then go with uh, let's see what have we got buses rescue heavy I mean I think probably these these guys will just be uh, yeah these guys will do the trick and then we'll basically just do that and then seven and then I'm just going to come through and can keep kind of adding these guys until uh, until we've got um, a good number of them here. And then let's just do this. Then so this can be 12, 13, 14, 15. Uh, 16 I uh, thank you very much 17 and let's just get it until we've got 20 on here uh, 18 19 oh, not 190 and finally 20 cool and group 2 like that cool okay and then just gonna dip back through these and just set them to spring because I think that'll be a lot more relevant for all of these lads should have done that on the first the first dude but yeah so these guys will be all set up shortly which should be very good very exciting. I do love setting up a new mission for for DCS. It's always it's always an exciting time. Uh, two, one, cool. All right, that's uh, that's our second group here. I don't know where half of these lads are. We're just going to put them on road. Um. Okay. All right, bear with, and we'll just uh, keep going. Okay, so I got these guys sorted out. Next, then, all we've got to do, uh, we've got to come into our statics here, and I'm just going to add some, uh, just some like FARP objects 
so let's just come down to structures here find farp uh, and we're just going to start by getting some uh, H tents in green and then we're going to just switch this over to Argentina here and then just kind of point them randomly and we're just going to call this uh, far, uh, so naval landing fob like that copy it and then I'm just going to uh, do that as well and then we're just going to basically copy paste rotate paste rotate paste rotate we just kind of want to set it up so that it looks kind of like a bit sporadic you know no one really knows we're just kind of setting up it's uh you know a bit of a beachhead at the moment you know let's get let's get on the ground get started and get going like that okay okay and then what I think we want to do is have some kind of troops in contact maybe or like a you know a JTAC or something like that maybe out um, out here a little way I think there's a bit of a ridge going on so let's see if I can get if I just place down here we'll go with UK like this and then let's just uh, it's not gonna be a, it's not gonna be a half track uh, let's get a warrior um, let's just quickly set um, do not engage so that's going to be set option ROE weapon hold and then add and then just do um, uh, I think we can actually leave it at that so oh, well, let's, let's actually do a restrict targets so add here option restrict targets uh, let's do air units only and that will that'll also hopefully prevent him so he should be out of engagement range here and these guys are also should be out of engagement range um, but hopefully he'll be within laser range so let's just quickly hit fly here um, and for the most part we're probably nearly done um, we just want to add in those atmospherics we just want to add in those um, those kind of things uh, to to get us going so yeah we've got these lads we've got these trucks lined up they're all ready to go we've got some tents set up um, and then let's just hit F7 again uh, well let's just come over here hit F7 just see so this guy is currently needs to be or about so the guys that he's meant to be looking at so he needs to be probably in the next hill over just on here let's get let's get a mate of his set up there and then we'll just get you know we'll just play it like there's a there's a few UK uh, UK infantrymen there so let's check these these guys out and of course there's um there's there's no actual kind of like normal ground troops but we'll just have to live with it and then we'll just uh plop these guys down like this here and just get them all spread out like a couple of squads of just infantry lads like this here like that okay let's just quickly hit save just make sure that these guys don't um, don't light up our target straight away okay let's see okay again probably another hill or we could move them further up I think just a bit further back will do it I think so let's just come back here probably like what here maybe let's go with here and then like that and then save fly mission okay we're nearly there we can start working on the aircraft next so we've got our targets now so uh, let's just quickly hit F7 here no okay all right okay yeah we're gonna need to go up onto this hill in front of us and just over to the right so that's all right so we can go just here and here and hopefully we can just hit save and fly mission
and go from there. And then, <coughs> so do that. Okay, these lads, are they going to start shooting at our, our boys? I think their engagement distances aren't quite right, but... Okay, these guys should have uh, an unobstructed view, which is good. Yeah, good. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to just quickly pull in another... Um, just going to put one last set of uh, enemy ground units in. So we're going to call this one target. We're going to switch it over to Argentina, switch it over to artillery. And then basically it's going to be an MLRS system. So just going to quickly check it out, make sure it's all good. Come on, lads. This is the only thing about the mission editor is sometimes it can be a little clunky and slow. Oh, that's that's not that's not right. That's not what we want. Uh, we're gonna have to switch that over and just be combined joint task forces, and then just find a uh, find something that's gonna be a bit more correct. Uh, maybe not that one. Uh, maybe a mortar. Um, Let's see. I think probably uh, an armoured, yeah, something a bit like that. Um, no, maybe we just go for the moment with uh, with like a uh, what's it? I'm trying to remember what it is. <laughs> yeah, this this excellent um, cuboid here. Um, Maybe not the smirch ones, but the grad. Yeah, let's go with the grad. Let's go with a couple of grads, just a few of them, just like this. Like that. Cool. And then just quickly on these grads, we're just going to come in. We're going to do add, option, uh, not option here, task. We're going to do fire at point. We're going to call it um, random artillery barrage, like that. Um, and then basically we're just going to uh kind of do like maybe a three thousand foot radius um we won't set an altitude we'll do auto we'll do we'll just do all like maybe maybe we'll do i mean how many can these guys carry they can carry quite a bit right so let's say just thirty for now so let's just quickly count the tubes so it's four by what's that ten so that's forty rounds so that's forty rounds in each launcher. So let's just say a hundred and no yeah, hundred and twenty. That so that'll be all the launches a hundred rounds. Okay, cool. And then you know, and then we'll just um you know, we'll just say that they're shelling this farm or something, you know, and then just uh just give that a go. So let's just hit, quickly hit save here. We're gonna go to our triggers and we're just gonna do a uh, a test, so a rocket launch trigger. Like that. Let's do new. Let's do time more. So where is it? Time more. Here we are. Let's do one just to test it out. Task push, f and then do that fire at point one that we just did there. So we'll hit save. So that's just telling them to trigger this, uh, this like kind of barrage, um, and I think that'll be pretty good. So they're kind of like you know. Uh, shelling the advance, you know, and so we're kind of being scrambled because uh, this is what we've just been made aware of. So uh, let's just quickly hit F10 and quickly just uh, hit F7 here. So here we are. These lads are set up. So we'll wait until they start firing. Um. Oh. Didn't mean to knock it that much. So probably, oh, Jesus, yeah, that is unrelenting. And then we'll just quickly do that. Okay. Yep. I think that that's pretty good. 
It's a good effect so far. Okay. So yeah, what, what, what we're going to want to do is uh, essentially have that. Um, but we're going to want to do it. So we're going to want to delay it a bit to wait for another thing. So let's leave it at that for the second. What we also want to do is have, uh, I want to have a lot of British infantry. So UK infantry like this. And then uh, I want to just basically, I'm going to just leave it as US. I know it's annoying. The UK doesn't, apparently doesn't have any infantry. Uh, so we're just going to, just going to go at it this way. So just going to create a squad of 10 guys. We're going to do late activation and visible before activation. Um, and then we're just going to do delete here. And we're just going to, we're just going to basically have them like laying in wait, you know, like they're, they're, they're stealthily, you know, we'll have them come from like down here, they'll deploy in, in boats or something. Let's say they come from like down here maybe, you know, so just out of view. Um, and then let's just bring them in like this. Cool. And then just add a waypoint in here like that. And then we're just going to copy, paste, paste, paste like that. Um, and then basically we can just come into our trigger here. Let's just clone this because we want to have a similar thing and just do a uh, UK infantry ambush trigger like that. Cool. And then we're just going to do, um, we're just going to do group activate here. And then UK Infantry clone, UK Infantry 1 clone, UK Infantry 2 clone, UK Infantry 3. Okay, cool. So that will then um, launch those guys. So we're just going to uh, set that going, give that a quick test. Um, and then we can move on to just getting our aircraft in and doing our timings. So that should be good. Uh, so here are our lads. Um, let's just quickly come over here and do an F7 on them. Don't know why they're all set to to that, but let's see here. Okay, so a lot of a uh, lot of gunfire. They don't seem to be returning fire. I wonder if maybe we have a ship do some shelling as well, something like that. Maybe we do that. How far out is this? So this guy has a pretty good reach on him, I think. Um, maybe we can maybe we can get uh, one of the British ships just out here. So let's just do UK. Oh, not Ukraine. UK. Do uh, UK support ship like that. Just do uh, so. Come down here. We'll just basically add in like a couple of these guys, like that. Just um, a good little spread here. Let's just do add fire at point, uh, and then we're gonna do cannon, I think, and then just like 200 feet or something. Zoom in. So let's just do 2,000. No, let's do 1,500. Just got to keep bringing that zone down until it's... Uh, um, until it's where we want it. Okay. All right. Let's do that. Just quickly hit fly mission. It's these kinds of things that make um, make the missions more interesting when you actually like kind of have a have a play with them and and get them to where you want them to be. Um, you know, first of all, we're just going to check and see that um, this this ship doesn't um, immediately target our our lads. We shouldn't be able to. But I'm just going to hit a time warp here. Um, looks to be fine. Let's just quickly uh, actually set these guys going.
Uh, let's also just do uh, task task push on this, um, and do those uh, those support ship ones. Do save there, fly mission, and then see if we can uh, see if we can't get these guys going. Should be interesting. Okay, so these ships now. In fact, let's pick this one. See the guns are pointing in the right direction. Okay, so that's the those those are the rounds. Let's go see what their impact is on target. Okay. a lot of rounds good god I think maybe what we do is we just have a couple of short barrages of uh yeah, we'll do a couple of short barrages. So, what we'll do, we'll quickly return, we'll, we'll just fly off to uh, to over here, come over to Mount Pleasant, where we're just going to set our aircraft up for this mission. So, uh, first of all, just going to plop this in, um, just make it to be UK, just going to do UK Harriers, like that there. Okay, uh, and then again, we're just going to leave it on CAS, come down here, Aviate BNA because um, sadly we don't have the normal uh, British Harriers uh, and I will be uh, downloading the uh, well, I'll downloading my f my friend Frenchie's uh, Harrier livery so uh, stay tuned for that uh, and then maybe we'll maybe we'll take area suppression or something or like you know we'll we'll see see what options we have um, but essentially uh, let's let's just go for something very like close air supporty kind of thing um, and go from there so we'll just do that, uh, make that to be client, add a second aircraft in that, uh, and then just basically do that and that, and then we'll just do 403 and 404, like that. Cool, all right, and then just give Chevy 2, like that would be good. And then, you know, we're just gonna do takeoff from ramp here, and then we'll add some automatic waypoints in, so just to fly down from here, and then we'll add in some waypoints here like that. I think that'll be pretty good. Uh, let's see. Okay, what more can we do? Right, that's our that's our player aircraft in, and that's kind of that done to the to the level that I want it to be done. I do also want to quickly see uh, what the enemy ship will do if uh, if a, a plane flies over it. So we're just going to do test plane like that um, and then we're just going to come into here we're just going to do no reaction um, and then we're just going to set it nice and low like 2000 feet and fly it directly um, at a waypoint directly over this ship like that like that and then we're just going to hit fly mission like that and we're just going to see if this uh, if this ship has any kind of response because I think it's just a um, you know, it's just kind of like a, a little missile frigate for and like um, surface to surface combat. Uh, so we're just going to do this here, and then I think it might it might try firing on him. God knows, but let's have a look. He's not targeting him, but oh, there he is. Okay, so he is trying to shoot at him. Okay, 
Okay, so that'll add some ground fire in at least. Maybe we maybe we bring in a um maybe let's also bring in a um like uh, some kind of uh air defense system here. Just a just like something uh let's see, air defense, like not a Bofors, but like um some kind of Z U twenty three thing. It's not really what I'm interested in. Let's come down to here and then just uh, check out what we've got. Um, let's see, a guepard is a bit nuts. Um, that's fun. Okay, that that seems pretty much exactly what I want. Okay, let's give that a go. Pop him in here um, and pop him back here or something. Pop these lads bit further back like that and then uh, and then we're just on to our timings and we're golden so let's have a look okay spectators and then let's just walk forward a little bit so this guy Hello, are you? Okay, let's bring the let's bring the Harrier over in another direction here. So let's bring it over like this instead, and just see what that does, just to see how they engage. Because you know the. The likelihoods is, uh, you know, that we're, you know, we're going to get some some ground fire going on here. Uh, I'm probably going to put some enemy infantry in, and then we can just go go at it like that. So, ground fire, come on, let's go. You're gonna fire. I think that that lad doesn't want to fire, so we'll uh, we'll switch him up. Let's let's go for something else that's slightly different. Um, let's just scroll back up here. Um, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Let's just do an emplacement like that, and then this can just be uh, RG. AD. Save. Fly. Okay. All right. Come on, ground fire. Let's go. Okay. Well, I think that'll do it. And uh, you know, if we fly directly overhead, I'm sure that'll be. I'm sure that'll have a different result. So, it's there in case we want it. Um, so now we're just gonna need to do our timings. So, I think basically, uh, we're gonna need to do some logic here. So first of all, we want to wait until these vehicles out the front have been destroyed. So we're just gonna do armored v destroy like that, armored vehicle destroyed. Uh, we're just going to do uh, group dead uh, and then we're just going to do uh, I think it's amphibious landing one and then uh, our, let's just set that to be yellow here and then our action is just going to be uh, let's do task push and we'll just do that for the second so quickly this is amphibious landing we're just going to call this armor like that that keeps that nice and simple so let's come back here so amphibious landing armor here so and then we're going to do um, so then we're going to do activate our AI uh, so group activate um, so here we are group activate here switch this over there we are alright cool and then we're just going to do UK infantry clone and then we're just going to keep doing our infantry here so like that 
like that. Cool. So that's them done. We also want to add in our uh, thing for the ship to attack. So uh, ship uh, rounds expend one like that. And then do new. And then do basically um, we're going to do let's do flag is true. And we're just going to set that to be five for the moment so that we can come back to it. And then we're going to do um, we're just going to do uh, task push like this. Uh, and we'll just do that for the second. So just going to quickly come back here and uh, in our um, so let's just come to our ships here and in our settings we're just going to do fire at point we're just going to do target one like that we're going to do a 150 foot radius and we're going to do rounds expend 10 like that I think that'll do it and then we're just going to drag it over and place it on him then we're just going to clone and then basically click in here and then drag him so this is the only thing where it gets a bit awkward here is um, trying to actually get these to, to drag so what we're going to do is we're then going to come back in here clone and then we're just going to do this drag and then clone double click drag and then clone and double click and uh, see double click and drag cool alright so now we've got these lads like that so we're just gonna do one two three four and five like that and so now we've got ten rounds expended on each of these targets um, we just need to quickly go through and rename them so let's do that now so target two target three target four and target five there so that's all done there stop condition uh, and then we're just going to uh, we're just going to do is user flag is true and then we're just going to set that to be six uh, well let's 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 untick that for the second and I'll tell you why so what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to fire until um, these guys are, are dead and then move on to the next one so uh, what we'll do we'll quickly just um, so we'll just come in here uh, and then so once these uh, so let's start off here we're going to do uh, rounds expand start ship like that new and then like I say we're going to do flag is true and that's going to be five and so what this is checking for is that the flag five has been activated then we're going to just quickly come in here we're going to do AI task push we're going to do fire one like that um, and then basically we're going to just new and then we're just going to do uh, rounds complete uh, rounds expend uh, well let's do rounds complete ship like that and then do new and then uh, just going to do flag equals uh, let's do flag is true here and then let's just do six and then do new task push and then we'll just set it to be like amphibious landing or whatever there we are uh, so that's that's alright so what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna quickly clone through all of these two three four and five cool 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 that's all good there um, and then we're just going to want to add another thing in just to activate that um, so we're just going to let's just delete that and then we're just going to also add in um, flag on and then set that to be flag 5 so this is just on our rocket launch trigger because I'm going to use this for test so let's just rename this test trigger like that and give it a nice fresh color and then just hit save there hit fly mission and so what we're going to just test for is that it launches um, it launches ten rounds, um, you know, like at the uh, at the targets, and then moves on. So let's just quickly do F7 here. So it will probably take a minute or two for these rounds to arrive. So um, let's have a look. Uh, da -da -da -da. So you can probably hear the uh, gunshots in the background there. 
So let's see if these cannon rounds arrive. So. Okay. Okay, might up the round count maybe and bring the bring the radius down. Okay, let's bring the radius down and bring the uh, the round count up. I think on each of those, I think that'll that should do it. So let's do this. So let's set it to be twenty rounds and bring it down to fifty feet, and then just do the same thing. So fifty, twenty, fifty. 20, 50, 20, and 50, 20. Cool. Alright, very good. Save. Fly mission. Okay. And then just quickly uh, give that a test. Um. Let's have a look here. Okay, so again, give it a bit of a warp, and we'll just see how well this does for rounds. So yeah, you can hear those shots in the distance, that's pretty awesome. Uh, and then, so something should arrive any second now. Okay. Okay. I mean it is pretty cool. I do like the uh the cannon effect. Now I really want to see what that will look like at uh at night, but we'll 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 have to do that later. Um so I'm going to leave that as is for now. I'll make some amendments um and you guys will see that in the final edit when um when it all comes together. The next thing we're going to do quickly is we're just going to do a uh, perform task uh on the uh the the British uh IFVs, so IFV warrior here. Uh, we're just going to do uh, FAC assigned group. Uh, we're going to do target. Um, we're going to do uh, I think laser. Yeah, mark by laser. Uh, data link, we can leave that ticked. Warrior 3. Let's do warrior 3 there. And then let's do 251.750 like that. Um, in fact, no, let's leave it on 133 because that's pretty easy to remember. Um, and I think that works pretty well. So that'll be there, and then that'll designate the uh, the target so that we can run in with bombs on that. Um, so now we just need to finish up with the last of our triggers. So first things first, uh, we've got the ship to shoot the rounds. That's fine. We've got a little module for that here. So uh, let's see here. So we can delete this, and those are those are us firing. That's very good. The armored vehicle destroyed, we're going to do group activate, so we're just going to delete this. So once this group is dead, then the infantry will come in. And then this is our test trigger at the moment, which is just testing all of our other stuff. So what we want to do is we want to have a, uh, a trigger area here like this. And we're just going to make this uh, pretty big. Um, let's make it, let's just make it 100,000 feet like that. Uh, and we'll just be uh, like... AO, uh, and then we'll just set it to be like purplish, and then so that's the area of operations there. Just going to place that in, come back to our triggers here. We're going to do new, we're going to do um, in AO like that, and then we're going to do part of group. So let's come down here, part of group in zone, um, UK Harriers AO new, quickly do a task push, uh, and then we're going to do. Uh, amphibious landing target so that's the artillery barrage there uh, so that we can start that going and then basically um, you know they they will uh, they will uh, do some do some war crimes which is all good so we'll move them right up to the top of the stack there can remove our test trigger 
So this is going to be um, launch ambush, like that, which is all good there. And then uh, we're just going to do ship cannon fire, like that. Okay. All right. That's all good there. And then we want to just quickly add in some more. So let's do an on start trigger here. So on start, which is very good. Uh, and then we're just going to come in here. Going to do uh, time more. I love a time more trigger. It's always, it's always a good one. In fact, we can actually just delete this and just have that in so there's no conditions. Uh, and the action is just going to be, um, so it's going to be a uh, radio item add uh, for coalition blue and it's just going to be um, launch assault like that and then the flag is just going to be um, let's say flag is five because that's what we've already got like that uh, and then we're just going to clone that we're just going to do um, on assault launch here and then just new and we're just going to uh, basically do uh, let's see flag is true so here we are flag is true and then this is five here and then so we've got on start and this is flag five and then if flag five is true then we're going to need to do a radio item remove for coalition uh, for blue and then it's just going to be um, launch assault here so launch assault okay and then this will remove the launch assault thing from there so that that does that and then also we're going to need to just do um, just going to need to come in here and do a uh, message so message to coalition blue and then um, naval group affirmative Starting, uh, let's just say rounds away like that. Okay, and then we'll just do five like that. Do clear view, cool. And then uh, we'll just um, clone that. And then what we'll do is we'll just delay it. So we'll just delay this by like 35 seconds. And then we'll do um, rounds incoming prepare for impact like that and then clone it again and then we'll just do uh, let's just do so 126 seconds gives us two minutes so let's do 180 that will give us three and then we'll just see uh, rounds complete standing by like that okay and that's all good there and then so now we've got these two which are our starting ones so let's do green for that so that launches our uh, assault there and then the cannon fire so this is uh, part of the attack so let's switch that to red and the ambush and let's switch that to red let's just say um, come in here uh, message to coalition blue and then we'll just do uh, ground units and just say APCs are down we are moving into attack positions like that and then we'll just do a start delay of five here clear view okay so that's our launch ambush there that's all good okay and then we're just going to quickly bring these guys back so they're um, not going to be getting so deep into it um, but yeah let's add waypoints in around here and then uh, basically we can get them within range of this convoy and uh, we just want to basically set some rules some rules of engagement um, so uh, let's just go to our briefing here. So just say the mission. Um, 
there has been an enemy landing at Dono's head on West Falkland. Uh, naval units are and JTAC are observing. You are to launch an air attack on multiple launch rocket systems that are firing upon civilian buildings to the east. Destroy the launchers. Uh, so let's just say um, uh, call down to the units via radio to launch the assault. The naval group will expend cannon rounds at the armoured targets on the field or on the ground and then um, what um, once the armored targets are destroyed the Royal Marines at the shoreline will begin their assault Troops will be in danger close contact, so be sure to watch your fire. Your only priority is to destroy the um, MLRS systems, but any additional ground forces you would like to destroy are totally at your discretion providing you protect friendly units on the ground okay and then we'll just do JTAC frequency M11, uh, so it's 113 megahertz AM. And then we could just leave it at that for the moment. I think that's pretty good. So if we just hit save there, so what will happen is uh, basically just to recap um, what what you know what will be going on is we'll fly out, fly towards the target, we'll enter the AO, um, and then basically we can call down to the uh, to the units to just say, yep, yeah, begin begin your attack. The, uh, the cannon rounds will start launching from the ships over here. Um, then, once the armoured targets up at the front here have been destroyed, the infantry will then come in and begin their attack. And then, basically, we will, um, you know, we will be uh, performing some bombings on uh, ve vehicles on the ground. Um, so, uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Um, I think it's pretty easy to understand. The next video that you should see is hopefully uh, me and Frenchie flying that mission. Uh, so that you guys can enjoy it, and maybe if you're lucky, I'll uh, I'll upload it to the user files if I remember, so that you guys can uh, can enjoy it for yourselves as well. Uh, but yeah, thank you very much for watching. I've been Finn, and the gaming fell. Thank you very much for your time, and I hope you have a lovely day. Goodbye.